Welcome back everyone. You may be experiencing an issue when you're going and updating your device through your iPhone and you may be saying that you're stuck on this little thing called a verifying update. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons but it mostly happens when you go ahead and actually as you can see there's another beta it mostly happens when you're actually just clicking the update process. So it may look like your device is actually you know had downloaded the update and it's ready to go but it may just be stuck on that verifying update. And what I can tell you is, is that I would honestly not be freaking out about it too much. I honestly would not think your phone's broken or it's gonna just delete everything off of it. That is not going to be the case here. And the reason for that is because when you're stuck on that verifying update, a little like toggle, whatever that is, the little pop-up, pretty much just, just making sure that the update is ready to go. And even if you wanted to go ahead and restart your phone there, nothing's gonna happen, I wouldn't recommend it. But it's just making sure that your phone is not going to go ahead and brick. It's not gonna, you know, randomly run out of memory during the update. And it's just verifying that the update is actually an Apple authentic update. So it's actually there to protect you. So if you get that little pop-up, again, it's just there to protect you. It's nothing super crazy. Now the problem is when your phone is stuck there. So if you so it may have been stuck there for a couple of minutes, maybe even 10, 15 minutes, you would be surprised on a lot of my devices, typically not on my iPhone 12s, but like on my iPhone 6s, even my personal device, my iPhone 10 at the time and iPhone 11 Pro, it would just randomly be stuck on the verifying update and I would assume that my, you know, phone is broken at that point, but that's not necessarily the case. I would just leave it, just set it down, forget about it, come back to it, and essentially at some certain point it would go ahead and restart, install that update and move on. So the main thing I would recommend you in that sense is if your device is actually stuck in a verifying update is to set it down, just leave it there for like 10, 15 minutes and then come back to it. And typically at that time, your device will go ahead and be fixed and it will be installed with the update and everything. Like I said before, it's not always perfect, but that's probably the number one thing I would recommend is to let your phone sit there and then eventually pick it back up and see if it verified and installed the update. Now there could be a chance where that still doesn't work. At that point, I would recommend just hard resetting your device. So by doing this, what you want to do is click the volume up, click the volume down, and then hold down that side button. So click volume up, volume down, then hold down that side button just like this, and then keep holding down that side button until your device actually restarts fully. Then when it's fully restarted, all you have to do then is go ahead and type in your password and then go back into it and you will see that your phone is still fully functional, it's working fine. It's just, you know, you can go ahead and try reinstalling the update, but that's a way to pretty much go through that and have access to your phone again. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.